Hey guys, MC Gamer here, and today I'm on the Minecraft title screen, and I was watching Minecraft 2's Survive and Thrive video, and um, I decided to do one of my own because his was it was a good he did a good job, but it was kind of laggy and stuff. So I'm gonna do it like him, and uh, I've emptied out my saves, so to to make it so that um so that you can't see my world. But anyway, if you're new to Minecraft. Uh, and you download it, you create an account, costs like $27 or something, um, and then you go on Minecraft, what you first want to do is multiplayer, you'll get into when you like, ha meet some friends, or ha have some friends that play Minecraft, and they, hey, have a server, or they have a server that they like to go on, you want to go on, so what you want to do is, you can configure your options, I just have, here, let's turn on music, and, uh, uh, you want to leave FOV on normal, you can change it after a while, um, yeah, touchscreen mode is for, um, I'm pretty sure it's for Windows 8 touchscreen computers, there's like video settings, uh, if you have a slow, if you have a fast computer, I suggest, uh, gra graphics fancy, smooth lighting maximum, brightness bright, actually you should always have brightness on bright, unless you're playing an adventure map, Rester render distance far, unless you have a slow computer, if you have a slow computer, what you want to do is, if you have a kind of slow computer, you want to do something like this, and then, uh, like that, but I have a fast computer, so I like to, um, and also if you have a really bad computer, you can always put it on tiny or short, but I like to use this. There's also full screen, that's if just you want the entire screen to have it but I don't really use that. Then there's multiplayer settings. Once again, you don't really need to use those just yet. So then you go into single player, and then there's all these options down here, but what you want to press is create new world. Now, let's just name this survival. Surv I'm pretty sure I spelled that wrong. Now, there's three modes. There's survival, which is the one that we're going to be doing. It is, um, you have to hunt for your hunt for like food and stuff and gain resources there's hardcore which is like survival except it's stuck on the hardest difficulty oh wait and i also forgot to mention if you are new i suggest putting the difficulty on easy if you want to stay safe then probably put put it on peaceful if you're like in creative mode or something but i'll get to that so yeah just create a new world let's just name it smiley face so there's survival Hardcore, which is, it's stuck on hard, and it's, and it is very hard, and if you die, the world gets, you have to delete the world, because there's no other choice, like, you can't, it just says, you cannot respond in hardcore mode, and then, um, and then there's creative, where you can just, like, create stuff, but we're gonna be doing survival, if you're new, um, you can keep these off if you want, but if you're new, and you kind of, like, you know, I'm going to leave those off, but if you're new, you probably want to keep it on. On There's This super flat is mostly for creative mode, but you can also customize it to have like trees and stuff. And, and large biomes are just same as default, but it, the biomes are bigger. And then keep generated structures on. Um, and then the seed, you can just put in something random, or you can just leave it blank. It doesn't really matter because it says leave blank for random seed. So yeah, let's create new world. And, um, let's, uh, it's loading. It sometimes takes a while to, uh, make a world. Oh, and if you're wondering, I am on 1.6.4. So, uh, here we are. We're spawning in. Ooh, we've spawned in a jungle biome. So, okay, so normally there's torches around this, but I don't know where they, where they went. Oh, well. And then just grab the stuff from the bonus chest, and, um... Also, if you left click on the mouse button, you um, you can dig up the chest. Oh, also another thing to note if you're new, this is not what you will look like. This is just the skin I have uploaded to my account. Um, so yeah, so then what you want to do is go up to like some trees, start getting wood. And also when you got some wood, I'm going to teach you some of the crafting recipes because I have all of them memorized. I'm not bragging, I just do. So if you put wood in this 4x4, four four, I mean 2x2, two two, not 4x4, four four, sorry, um, you get oak wood, and there were some in the chest already. And then this wood is a different kind, it's called jungle wood, so it'll get a different color. For crafting recipes, they don't really matter what color they are. So, um, 
Also, when you spawn in, the sun will be right there. It'll be right there. So then you can, like, just dig this up. Also, I have no mods installed. Mods are basically, if you're new, they are basically, well, they st they're short for modifications. It's basically. So then, after you get all your wood back, let me just get it. Then what you want to do is find a good place to set up base camp. If you're like a pro, you might want to build a house, but if you're um, new, you could either find a cave or just dig into the side of a mountain. I know you like to do to, to dig inside of a mountain in uh, Minecraft Pocket Edition. Oh, here's a chicken. These are chickens. I didn't know. So, what you want to do is after you got a lot, what you need to do is make this kind of pattern, and it doesn't have to be two. I just like to do that to get sticks. And then you got a crafting table. Then what you want to do is you place that down with right with right click or whatever you configure it. I have right click because you know that's the default. Now, what you want to do for this is, if you still want to gather wood, I think I will, is make a configuration like this, and you'll get an axe. And if you're digging into a mountain to build your house, then I suggest doing this, making, uh, excuse me, hang on one second, make this and this. Now, this is an axe, a pickaxe, and a shovel. Now you can use the axe to pick up your crafting table easier as well. And also in some um, mods and mod packs, there is um, a way for you to you dig part of the tree. Ooh, lag spike. You dig the bottom part of the tree and the entire tree falls down. But um, yeah, just get some more wood and then, okay, now I think I've got enough wood for the night. So now let's find a place to go make shelter. Now, places to make shelter in a swamp, like I'm in now, you can look for witch huts. If you spawn in like an open plains farm, you can look, you can try to look for villages, but they're not that common. Either are witch huts. In jungles, you can look for desert temples. Ooh, there's a witch hut. Perfect. Now, um, hang on. Before I go in there, I, sometimes there's a witch in there, sometimes she, she just wanders, wanders off. Let's just get prepared. Let's uh, take this up. All right, so in there is a witch, and she throws potions at you, which make you like get like really bad, make you like poison, so that you you're, you get damaged. Oh shoot, I don't have optic right now. That's a modification. Uh, so let's go over there. That looks like a perfect place to build to take shelter. did the bonus chest, there's um, some stuff in the chest. There is some food in the chest. Ooh, there's a squid. Squids are, uh, they, li they spawn in water. They're not really useful because all they drop is ink sacs. And all those do is dye wool to make it like black. Or you can make like light gray. Gray, what's down here? Oh, that's a cave, I'm gonna go in there later. Uh, let's see, is she in there? Maybe the witch is in there. Hello? Let's see. Hmm, okay. Doesn't surprise me that she isn't. Alright, um... Oh gosh, I hear zombies and stuff over here. Probably in caves. Alright, so... Hang on, one second. This is a glitch. Just want to make sure they don't stay. They stay out. Go out here and blob. So now what you want to do is you want to gather some dirt. And um, you don't always have to gather some dirt. It's just good, f like for building material that you know it's not going to be permanent. So um, let's see. How do I want to build up there? So hang on. Let's try this. And then. There you go. There. 
And we're in here now. Oh, well, I forgot the witch has a crafting table already. So yeah, there's a cauldron in here which you can fill with water, but you'll need a bucket to do that. And you'll need, to make a bucket, you'll need iron. So let's go kill those pigs to get some, um, sorry, to get some food. All right, so these are lighting glitches. Don't worry about them. They just happen. Ooh. Lag, and I hear skeletons. Skeletons are good. Skeletons, they have bows, and they just shoot for days. I'm serious. Now this is sugar cane. It looks kind of like bamboo, so we're going to take some. Sugar cane is used to make paper, make sugar, which can make cakes, and also um, swiftness potions. So yeah, let's go. Oop. Let's go up here into our house. Now the next thing you want to do is if you find a shelter like this, is uh, to make a... Um, a door which is made like that and uh, if you want to know how to live in a cave I forgot to mention this go watch mine for you two's video because um, he lived in a cave alright so we got our little establishment now what we want to do is we've got all this raw meat raw pork chops or as some people call them bacon uh, so what you want to do is want to go to oh gosh I hope there's nothing bad down here go into a cave not too far from the surface. You know, I think I'm not going to go in here because I don't, I don't feel safe. If you don't feel safe in a cave and you've just started, don't go in there. If you don't feel safe in a cave, just start, like, digging downwards like this until you get to stone. There we go. Ooh, here's some iron. Nope. Shovel. Now, iron is used to make cauldrons and buckets, so, hang on, I, good thing I brought, I got an extra crafting table. So just get some of this, and uh, it's still daytime. Now, the episode will end when the sun rises the next day, because I told you how to survive your, to say how to, to survive your first night. And, uh, let's see, um, let's put this down, and, uh, craft some sticks. And now you want to make a stone pickaxe. Now, stone pickaxe is good, is good, but, you know, it's not that. It's better than a wooden pickaxe because you can mine iron with it. You can't mine iron with a wooden pickaxe. Um, now what you want to do is just what Minecraft pros call nerd pulling. Just, hang on, do I have enough? I don't think so. Let me just get that. Um, let's see, let's get about, yeah, that'll be good, 20 is about, 20 is enough. And let's just hop up here. Alright, so now let's just hop up here, come here. Disappointing that there weren't any torches around around the chest, because there normally are. Alright, now, as you saw, I made a furnace with a configuration like this. Now, a furnace is basically like an oven, and you can cook stuff in there. Now, we don't have any coal. Ooh, it's, ooh, it's turning nighttime. So, um, we don't have any coal, so you can use wood as a substitute. So, I'm going to smelt this. Actually, no. No, no, no. You don't need iron on your first night. You do need pork, though. And now we can put this chest, let's just put it there, and then you can put some of your stuff in here that you don't need, like, I don't need any. You know what, actually it's good to have an extra crafting table where you get, wherever you go. Alright, so now we got food. And, um, so yeah, basically what you want to do from this point on is just sit in here, just sit in where you are. And, uh, if you have a bed, you can sleep in it, but I didn't get to get any sheep. I'll... But to craft a bed is, you just need, um, hang on. Pretend this dirt is wool, and, uh, pretend this dirt is white or whatever color wool you want. 
So it's made something like that, and then when you place it down, you can it takes up two blocks of space, and then when you right click on it, you sleep in it. And it speeds up the night time, but you can always sleep in it in night. So I think that's all I. And also in the witch hut, there's sometimes mushrooms and a mushroom in a pot at the window. So yeah, guys, I'm gonna speed up the. Uh, I'm gonna speed this up. I'm gonna fast forward. So yeah, fast forwarding. Hang on, guys. Uh, I've stopped the fast forwarding because if you look outside, there are two uh, creatures out there. That green one that kind of looks like, um, you know what I mean, like a thing, is called a creeper, and that is a zombie. The the creeper will explode, and um, it it will explode. And if you don't have any armor on, which I don't, it will probably instant kill you. And a zombie will just make will just hurt you melee. But they're either one of those aren't really safe. And if they get up here, they're gonna make a racket. And then I'm gonna hang on. Now on your first night, you could probably kill zombies and maybe spiders. Oh, there is a skeleton and spiders. Spiders, they will attack you, and they can also climb walls. So if you like have like if you're just walled in, then spiders can get you. Skeletons have a ranged attack. These zombies are causing a racket. Um, and, uh, yeah. What you probably don't want to kill on your first night is you probably want to stay away from creepers and, uh, oh yeah, endermen. We haven't seen any of them yet. I kind of look like one, I'm just saying. Um, not really, but, um, they are three blocks tall. They're black with purple and, I think, hot pink eyes. And, um, that spider's learning how to swim. Cool. So, yeah, they're three blocks tall. They have purple and hot pink eyes. And, um, if you stare at them, then they will, um, start teleporting. And then they'll kill. They are very hard to kill. They, um, they're not a thing to kill on your first night. Also, if you hit them, they'll try to kill you. So, um... Let's see. If I see an Enderman, I will, uh... Oh, and there are some slimes. Um, gosh, uh, slimes, they... It's okay to mess with the, li to the li little ones, but the big ones you don't want to mess with on your first night. They only spawn in swamp biomes at nighttime. They'll ca they can also spawn in caves really deep down. Um, oops. And, uh... Well, is there anything else that I can talk about right now? Uh, oh yeah, those things, lily pads, you can jump on them, and they only are in the swamps. So I think that's it. So I'm gonna fast forward again, and fast forwarding now. Yeah, guys, another thing I forgot to mention is, uh, what? Oh yeah. Um, zombies and skeletons will actually burn in the daytime, and spiders will not become will aren't will not become hostile, and creepers will just start despawning, which means that they'll just disappear in the in the daytime. Endermen will also do that, and they will just teleport away. And uh, gosh, this is scary. Now, a creeper will not blow up if you are, like, if, you, there's the, there's this thing called glass which you get in by smelting sand, and they will not blow you up if you're through that, or if they're, or if they don't know you, they'll actually, like, kill you, So, yeah, um, I think I'm gonna start the fast forward again, and I'm gonna fast forward now. Oh yeah, another thing I forgot to mention. I sorry I keep stopping to tell you these things, but I'm gonna tell you what they, what each monster, what each mob drops, and also some more information. Now, um, one of the things is zombies and skeletons can occasionally spawn with um, armor and weapons, 
And, uh, well, skeletons already spawn with weapons. They spawn with bows, but sometimes they can spawn with enchanted bows, which have like arrow, like flame arrows, and arrows that hurt you more, and arrows that push you back, and stuff like that. Zombies can spawn with in with not in, with unenchanted or enchanted um uh like uh things like spades, pickaxes. By spades, I mean shovels, uh swords, and he, and also both of them can spawn with armor. Now skeletons will drop bones um we'll drop two to zero bones three to zero arrows zombies will drop two, two to zero rotten flesh which if you eat it it gives you hunger and it makes your hu your hunger bar go down faster for 30 seconds and um spiders will drop one to zero spider eyes three three to zero string and uh if you eat spider eyes, it'll poison you for like five seconds, I think. Um, what else? There's also cave spiders, which uh, are basically like spiders, except they're smaller and they have a venomous bite. A bit venom. They can. It, they uh, poison you. Oh, it looks. Oh, that is an Enderman. Now I don't want to look him in the eye because he could kill me. Now they will pick up blocks, but no, they will not pick up blocks like that you have natural that have been nat that have been placed by you, or things that could, like, they won't pick up these, but they'll pick up, like, grass and stuff. I, oh, gosh. That's the Enderman screaming noise. Look at him. Now, you don't want to look at him. That screaming noise doesn't mean that I have looked at him. It just don't work. It's kind of, oh, gosh, now I've looked at him. Well, that's <laughs> not hot. So yeah, it's daytime. They will also not. And what else? Oh yes, creepers will drop gunpowder, and uh, Endermen will drop um, Ender pearls, which can be used to like throw them and they can teleport. But and uh, what else? And I think that's about it. Well, guys, it's daytime, and uh, so yeah, uh, we survived our first night. Now you can always do things at night, but I don't recommend it. Because there's so many creatures out. And, uh, so yeah, thank you guys for watching. Um, also watch Mine For You 2's video, who, who showed you how to survive if you want to, like, dig into a cave or something. It's kind of more, it's a little more laggier, sorry, by the way. But, uh, thanks so much for watching, and, uh, please subscribe, like, um, and also comment to tell me what you want to do, what you want me to do next. And, uh, so yeah, I'll see you guys later. Bye!